All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to begin by giving all honor and all glory to the Almighty Yahweh, the great King that sits on the throne in heaven, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, the Prince of Peace to the nation of Israel. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to the Aki and pushing this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, just coming with a quick lesson here. And the title of this lesson is going to be Mars Slakia, March or Marcius, the Roman God of War. All right, and I titled, I titled it that because we're, we're, uh, we just entered in the, uh, the month of March. And uh, if you know anything about these devils, all right, and I'm talking about these, uh, the, chief, the chief house of uh, Esau Edom which is uh, the, the Amalekites, the fake Jews. Uh, <clears throat> they uh, use the month, the month of March to uh, carry out a lot of their uh, uh, war, war uh, strategies, all right, and different uh, defense bills and stuff are passed in the month of March, as well as October. And, um, you know, as, as the shepherds and the watchmen of, of the nation of Israel, I thought I would come to come to you with this lesson uh, uh, to uh, give you warning, all right, to you Israelites, that uh, this this month of March is uh, through the Spirit is getting ready to be a heavy month, all right, because these devils, uh, like I said, they use this month to uh, uh, further push their their war plans, all right, and what's the main war? The main war is, is on you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, that, that's the main war, is to come after you tribes. And these devils are, are not going to stop uh, uh, until they deem their, their new world order as, set, as a success, all right? Even though we, we know that the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, is going to uh, uh, destroy them, or while they're in the midst of, of setting this new world order up, uh, it's important that we, we know and understand the times that we're in, all right, including uh, 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 these different months that uh, these devils use to, to push forth their agenda. All right, and, and real quick, we'll go ahead and read this uh, article I got queued up, and uh, it's going into to March, all right, or Mars. And it reads, Mars was the Roman god of war and the second only to Jupiter in the, in the Roman pantheon. All right, and who are the, the modern-day Romans? The so-called white man today, which are the biblical Edomites. Although most of the myths involving the god were borrowed from the Greek god of war, Ares, Mars nevertheless has some futures, features which were Inetically, inetically Roman, considered more level-headed than the often impulsive and disruptive Ares, Mars was also seen as a more virtuous figure by the more martial, or keep that, uh, keep that uh, word in mind, more martial-oriented Romans, as a protector of Rome and the Roman way of life, and as a defender of city borders and frontiers. Uh, what, what he, uh, two days ago, uh, you just had Trump sign another bill, all right, for more funding for that that uh, that wall in uh, in, uh, in Mexico, all right. The uh, uh, mall, the the wall that joins uh, America and Mexico together, all right. He he just passed a bill to uh, to quick hurry and get that that wall finished up. Because I believe it was last month, the wall was uh, blown down, right? And through the spirit, that was uh, Yahabashim Yahushai. All right, reading on. Important festivals connected to warfare were held in his honor. And the God was also closely associated with the wolf and the woodpecker. All right, and uh, that's the main, this is the main part I wanted to get. All right, you can... Uh, going to the rest of this article on your own all right, to get a better understanding of the month of March all right, and what it's, what it's connected to. And then from there, 
Let's go ahead and get the first scripture. This is, this is Ecclesiastes 3 and 8, and it reads, A time to love and a time to hate. A time of war. All right, we're in a time of war. All right, and as we just read in this, uh, in this article here, all right, Mars was a Roman god of war, all right, which connects back to the month of March. All right, and, and, uh, and through the spirit, all right, this is going to be a heavy month for for uh, uh, the nation of Israel. All right, these devils have something uh, cooking up their sleeves. All right, and it's mighty funny how they just rolled out this coronavirus, uh, real heavy. All right, this coronavirus is starting to it's starting to spread all throughout the world. All right, and it's it's uh it's not a coincidence that this coronavirus is taking a, a, a very uh, a, a quick hold upon this, upon this uh, earth, all right, upon this world during this time uh, that we're coming into, all right, during this month as well, the month of March, all right, a time of war and a time of peace. Because after, after war, after this great war uh, spoke about in the, in the scriptures, you know, the, the time of... Uh, uh, when, the, when Heavenly Father Yahweh was going to bring all the nations down into the Valley of Jehoshaphat, all right, World War Three, all right, the, the Valley of Decision. After that war comes uh, peace, right, and what's the ultimate peace? That's the, the nation of Israel, all right, Jacob having uh, complete dominion and complete rest upon this, this planet Earth, all right, under under uh, our Lord Yahweh Shai. That's the peace. All right, that, that comes after this this war. All right, we're gonna have to go through through uh, Jacob's trouble as well. All right, a time we're getting ready get, we're getting ready to come into a time like never before. All right, and it's it's uh it's important that we, we gird up our minds uh, for this time. All right, and from there we're gonna go to. Uh, this next article I got queued up because I had something I wanted to get out of it. Um, oh yeah, this is what I wanted to get out of it. All right, we'll, we'll start from the top. I, don't, I didn't want to make this lesson too long, but I'll go ahead and start from the top. The word Mars, uh, genitive martis, which is old Latin and poetic uses, also appears as mavars or Mavardis is cognate with with Ashken Mamirs or Mamirtos, the oldest recorded Latin form. Mamart it is is likely a foreign origin. It has been explained as deriving from from Maris, the name of Etruscan child god. All right, you can uh, you can look look these uh, things up on your own. Through this, though this is not universally agreed upon, scholars have verifying views on whether the two gods are related, and if so, how. Latin objectives from the name of Mars are Martis and Martialis. All right, like I said, keep that word in mind. Martial. All right, goes back to this. Marshallis, from which derive English martial, as as in martial arts or martial law. All right, martial law. And what is martial law? Let's uh, let's go ahead and get it real quick. Martial law is the in, the imposition of direct mi military control. And what's that military control? Those are. Uh, 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 those UN troops, those Gerga troops, that uh, these these elites are going to send down upon the uh, the population when all hell breaks loose. All right, and this this coronavirus is going to be used to uh, bring in that that uh, military control and martial law of normal civilian functions by our government. All right, so your day to day lives as the uh, CDC. Just put out a, 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 a 
article, all right, saying that your normal uh, civilian functions are going to be disrupted, all right, soon. All right, and through the spirit, it, it could be this month, or it could be uh, the month after, all right, or it could be this summer sometime, all right, and it's, it's going to get real uh, hectic for you Israelites by the government, especially in response to a temporary emergency, such as invasion or major disaster, right? And this coronavirus is considered a pandemic or a, a, a major disaster, all right? Or in an occupied territory. Martial law can be used by governments to enforce their rule over the public, all right? That uh, a, a, a draconian uh, law system, all right? Bringing, bringing down that harsh, those harsh laws upon the public, all right? And why do you think uh, uh, the government purchased, I believe, 37,000 smart guillotines, all right? This is what it's going into, That uh, uh, th those uh, draconian laws. As seen in multiple countries listed below, such, such incidents may occur after a co-op all right, Thailand in 2006, 2014, these different uh, countries, all right, where co-ops were, uh, where co-ops happened and they had to bring in martial law. When threatened by popular protests, and what do you have all around the world, all right? Protests, uproars of the people, or right, sedition among men. This is gonna be used to bring in that martial law. Someone wanted to get, uh, get off of here, which was, oh, here it is. Martial law may be declared in cases of major natural, natural disasters, coronavirus. However, most countries use a different legal construct, such as state of emergency. All right, so they have to, uh, the government has to has to uh, wordplay. All right, use that uh, that witchcraft so that the uh, the public won't won't catch wind of it. All right, so they'll call it state of emergency, which you have right now. In, in uh, San Francisco, as we speak, they just called a state of emergency last week on uh, on uh, San Francisco. So at any time, uh, these devils can come down uh, 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 and shut that city down, all right, and, and declare martial law. All right, and um, you can go ahead and read this on the rest of the, on, on your free time, all right? It's uh, martial law from Wikipedia, all right? This can be found on the internet. And from there, let's let's go ahead and grab a scripture. This is Psalms 37 and 12, and it reads, "The wicked plot against the just, and gnash and gnasheth upon him with his teeth." All right, and who's the wicked? The wicked uh, in the scriptures is Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. All right, and the top chief house, chief house of the wicked, is the uh, so-called Jews. All right, the, the Jewish. The Amalekites. All right, they they plot against the just. Who's the just? Uh, you Israelites, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, these devils have councils, uh, 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 summits, to uh, plot against the just. How to keep you Israelites down? How to keep you at the bottom? And ultimately, uh, how to destroy you? All right, permanently. That's what these devils want to do. All right, that you have certain bills and certain measures on, on the books. You got the Georgia Guidestones where they want to, where they want to uh, uh, get the population of the Earth down to 500 million. All right, these devils want to want to kill a lot of people, man, and it's and it's mainly to get at you tribes, to get at you Israelites. All right, that's how wicked these devils are. All right, they'll they're going to destroy a lot of their own people just to get at you Israelites, right? And that goes back to the hatred uh, that Esau has for Jacob. And Nasheth upon him with his teeth. And what is the, what is uh, his teeth, his military, or his military might, okay? His uh, uh, his uh, tanks and, and, um, and uh, F-bombers and, and, uh, and uh, uh, drones, all right? These devils have uh, uh, events uh, tech, tech, technology, all right, and, and they're going to use it in this in this martial law in this time of Jacob's trouble, all right. These devils got robots where they can uh, uh, be used, okay, to, to go in and uh, take out targets that 
that they have programmed uh, specifically for that robot. All right, and, and those robots are going to be targeted towards you Israelites. All right, they show you, they show you that in uh, uh, movies like RoboCop, Terminator, okay? Those different uh, movies that they show you, uh, uh, their plans uh, and what they want to do, uh, creating these different cyborgs and, and things of that nature, all right? All right, this is First Peter 5 and 8, and it reads, Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, who's the devil? All right, Esau, the so-called white man, namely the uh, chief house of Edom. As a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may destroy. All right, and these are times that we have to, uh, uh, especially in the month of March, these are times we have to be uh, sober and be vigilant. All right, what does it mean to be vigilant? To be looking out, to be uh, on, on your watch. All right, and that's, that's ultimately the job of, of a, a prophet, all right, which is also known as a seer. All right, a, pro a prophet is, is supposed to be vigilant, all right, watching out for uh, uh, watching out for the flock, all right, warning you, as the scriptures say. All right, that's the job of a, of a prophet, all right, and nothing else, all right, not to be uh, a scene of men, not to be glorified, not to be uh, 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 praised and, 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 and uh, be, be, uh, be seen as, as a, a celebrity, man, all right, like you have uh, a lot of these camps. You know, IUIC, uh, you know, GOCC, you know, HOI, all these different camps, all right, a lot of them are, are doing what they're doing to be seen as men, all right, and not uh, um, uh, uh, properly warning the sheep of what's to come. All right, a lot of these camps don't even speak on Jacob's trouble. All right. From there, let's go to Revelation 12 and 12, and it reads, Therefore, rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe, woe means destruction, to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil, all right? It's not the uh, spiritual demon Satan. This is his physical counterpart. The devil, all right, the deceiver, the so-called white man, all right, Esau, Edom. He's the top devil. He's in rulership. It's come down unto you having great wrath. All right, these devils are getting ready to come down with that great wrath. All right? And this month, uh, is, is through the Spirit, is going to be a heavy month. All right, because this month, like I said, uh, this month is, is uh, named after the Roman god of war. All right, like the scriptures say, uh, uh, his mouth was smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. All right, these devils, these devils love war. These devils love bloodshed. All right, and that's what you Israelites need to understand about your enemy because Esau, the so-called white man, is your enemy. All right, he's getting, ready to, he's getting ready to show you that. He's getting ready to show you he's your enemy because he knoweth that he had but a short time. All right, these devils know that their time is short. Short in what? Getting that, that new world order established. All right, because they see, uh, um, they see uh, and watch. All right, the men of the Lord teaching. All right, they they see these different lessons going up day in and day out. All right, they they uh, see different uh, Israelites waking up, popping up all over the world. All right, they they know the prophecies. They know that time is short. All right, and then we're gonna leave it off on this uh, scripture here. This is First Peter one and thirteen, and it reads, "Wherefore gird up the loins of your mind." All right, this is the time to uh, 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 get your mind right. All right, gird up your mind. Gird up your mind. What with, with this truth, with this understanding of Yahweh Hashem Al Shai. All right, seeking the Lord. Be sober. All right, be sober. Be uh, uh be sober minded. All right. Staying uh, keen, staying focused, staying focused on uh, 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 what what you need to be doing to get right with the Heavenly Father Yahweh, and hope to the end of to the end for the grace. All right, we gonna need uh, a lot of grace, man. In these times, we getting ready to come into. 
all right? We're going to need a lot of grace, all right? It's important that, that you're sending up prayers, asking uh, the Heavenly Father, y'all would have mercy, all right, and grace upon you. That is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. All right? And uh, that's going to conclude the lesson. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. All right, stay uh, uh, stay prayed up, Yasharala. All right, stay vigilant, Yasharala. Till the next time, Shalom.